Okay, folks, this is a MacBook Pro 1286. MacBook Pro 1286. Customer brought it into me, and the problem was it was having a boot loop issue. Or it would boot, and then it would go to almost loading up, and then it would start all over. So. I've done a little work on this here. One problem was the battery uh, needed to be replaced, so I replaced the battery, and uh, that didn't help help any. But the battery that I, that I removed was a bad battery. I reseat reseated the uh, memory cards, and I cleaned them. Uh, I took the motherboard out. I put new heatsink paste on it on the uh, CPU. It's still the same problem. Um, I ran diagnostics with, with uh, using the uh, the Apple diagnostic and it told me all the hardware was fine but it doesn't tell you about the actual hard drive whether that's that's bad or not so I didn't have another Apple hard drive formatted hard drive around but I did have a hard drive that I had installed Windows 10 a couple of days ago and normally with Windows 10 if you install um, Windows 10 on a hard drive, you can take that hard drive out of that computer and move it to another computer and Windows 10 will detect that is different hardware and it'll make the adjustments and that computer will boot up just like the hard drive has always been installed in that computer. So I stuck it in this computer just for Apple to show me, the Mac to show me, hey, there's a hard drive there, but it's not uh, properly formatted, you know, for Apple and lo and behold the system actually booted all the way up and it booted up the windows 10 as if this was a a, 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 a pc computer and not a mac so um I'm not going to show you how to replace the hard drive there's other videos for that but i'm going to demonstrate that this guy actually boots up to windows 10 without any type of boot camp or any other outside external software to assist it And put the battery cable in. All right, let's turn this guy on and let's get a good view of this. Sorry about the camera shaking. I had to make some adjustments. And as you see, it's booting up the Windows 10 MacBook Pro. So that tells me that the motherboard is not fried. Because, uh, you know, that was the next thing we would have thought of. Um, but it confirmed for me that I need to replace this hard drive with another hard drive. And reinstall the Mac OS. I'll do it over the internet, the internet install. By the way, how I ran the Apple Diagnostics, you, you, you hold down the letter D while powering on the Mac, and the Diagnostics screen will eventually come up. And you choose your language, and then you can run the Diagnostics. So there's the mouse right there, booting into Windows 10. As you see, Windows 10 is uh, setting itself up to work with the hardware that's in this particular uh, machine doesn't care that it is not a Dell or HP all it cares about the hardware so we'll give it a few look at there I'm gonna hit enter and hit one two three is the password because it's just a test drive that I use for other computers, I have this one day. This is the first time I've tried it on an Apple computer. So there's Windows loading. We'll wait for everything to come uh, populate down here. I'm 
shows shows the power. There's the speaker now, and there's everything. Windows 10 successfully loaded. Now it says no internet connection. Let's click that. Let me uh, install uh, 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 this mouse, this external mouse. I hate playing around with the touchpad. I don't have time for that. Okay, if I click there, look, it even got Windows Defender. Look, the Microsoft Cloud. Look at that. So if anybody decides that they just don't want to run the Apple software anymore, they can always do Windows. You'll probably have to uh, take care of some drivers. You know, I'm not going to take it that far with fixing drivers. But we can check device manager and see what drivers that Windows 10 didn't recognize. And it looks like it's uh, FaceTime it doesn't recognize, network controller. Uh, that's more than likely the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, USB host controller uh, and the display adapter let's pop in Ethernet cable and see what happens okay I gotta move this uh, powered adapter cord out and switch, flip it around okay let's see if we can if it recognizes Ethernet cable if not, it's just a matter of installing the, uh, well, look at there. We have internet, everyone. It recognized the ethernet cable. See that? Have internet access. And probably, if I was to run a Windows 10 update, because this is the older version of Windows 10, um, it would, it would repair, it would actually find the drivers for those guys. But we're not going to do that. This is just to demonstrate that a MacBook Pro, this is a A1286, 87 I believe, uh, A1286 MacBook Pro. And it's running just a clean copy of Windows 10. And I didn't install Windows 10 into the system. I installed Windows 10 separately on the hard drive in while it was installed in another machine. A, a, then I removed it from the machine that it was in and just simply replaced the hard drive that was in the MacBook Pro and fired it up. And there you have it. So folks, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this helps somebody in their troubleshooting uh, attempts. Uh, once again, this computer had signs of uh, some people on the internet on YouTube say that the uh, microprocessor is dead, the hard drive is dead, uh, the keyboard may be dead, the battery may be dead, and I mean, I went through everything and I still was having the same boot loop, and after running the, the uh, diagnostics, it told me all, all, everything was good, the RAM was good, the CPU was good, I mean, so what's going on? So as you see, there's 8 gig of RAM. The CPU is an i7 processor, and Windows 10 Home is being ran on this guy. All right, thanks for watching, folks. Let's shut it down and see. Oh, let me let you see how it shuts down. Okay, so you can see that it's a fully functional Windows 10. Shut down. Shutting down. Apple MacBook Pro RAM with Windows 10. Thanks for watching.